Thank you, Phil. A big story on KSFY Live at 10 tonight. The former Highmore police chief accused of shooting his wife to death last month made his first court appearance today. And around town, people are voicing their opinions as the case now goes to the courtroom. KSFY's Robert Wilson was in court when Ken Huber faced a judge as a suspect for the first time. More than two dozen people filled the courtroom. Several told me they wanted to be there for the victim, Pam Huber, and her family. Ken Huber arrived at the Hyde County Courthouse under heavy security. In court, he did not enter a plea to the charges against him. But his attorney, Mike Butler, did ask the judge to reduce the half-million-dollar bond. The judge denied the request, saying Ken Huber is a danger to the community. About two dozen people showed up for this morning's court appearance, and around Highmore, it's not hard to tell what many people think of Ken Huber. Just take a look at these signs. The signs belong to Lynette Gensler. She wanted to be here to support Pam's family and look Ken in the eye. She's not sure if Huber can get a fair trial in Highmore. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm thinking they're going to have to move it. Where, I don't know because everybody knows the story, but it's going to be a tough one. According to court papers, Ken Huber has told investigators the gun went off accidentally as he was moving it. Robert Wilson, KSFY, live at 10. Thank you, Robert. Huber is scheduled to be back in court next week for a preliminary hearing.